Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go out for the day, so I figured I would just take you guys with me. It is so cold here in Maryland. I don't know when the weather is going to make up its mind, but it's been like hot and cold and hot and cold. And so my wardrobe is somewhere between summer and winter, and I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. So anyways, it's cold today, so I'm going to put my boots on. These are my boots I'm going to be wearing. I love these. Um, I think I got them from Alloy, like maybe two years ago. I've been wearing them for years because I love them so much. And they like zip all the way down, which I just love. And they're like velour. I just love them. So I'm putting those on today because I don't think flip flops are appropriate. It's a little bit, a little bit too cold, but at least I'm getting some use out of my, my new skinny jeans and my little military jacket. Let me just do a quick outfit of the day, I guess, since we're here. I don't even know what you're going to be able to see, but um, anyways, just my typical casual weekday outfit. Um, I just have my like slouchy Joy Rich top on that I got at Karma Loop, and I have my little denim skinny jeans on from Target. I think they're Mossy Mo, but these are like my most comfortable skinny jeans. I love them. And then I just put my Alloy boots on, my knee-high boots, and my little military jacket that I got at... Rue 21 for only like 12 bucks and then I just have all my usual jewelry on and my silicone watch. Oh, and my bag house bag, which I love. I'm so glad that I got black because um, I can carry it through to winter. And I just realized I don't have any of my rings on, so I have to go back to the bedroom and put those on. Okay, so now I have my rings on. We're gonna get ready to go. Let me find my keys. Sorry guys if I'm like making you sick here. My purse is like a bag of tricks. There's like so much stuff. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so forgetful. I'm totally forgetting my freaking Ulta bag, which I'm going to return. So let's go out to the vehicle in the parking lot. I hope it's as cold as I think it is. Because otherwise I'm gonna look pretty stupid. <laughs> Ooh, it's dark. We're gonna go out to the car. You can't see my code. My friend Leslie and her beamer. Hey. All right. Why the heck are there leaves in my car? How did this happen? Why? Why are you in my car? Probably David tracked him in. He's slavish. Nice. I wonder where people like set their cameras when they do these. Like here. It's all like cockeyed. <laughs> we're going to Ulta. So we're going to Ulta because I went to Ulta last weekend. I can't do anything with this camera. I don't know how freaking Lorraine Stanick and these people do this because with the camera in my hand, I can't do shit. But anyways, I'm going to Ulta because I got this L'Oreal Paris Color Expert um, Express and it's like a highlighting kit, but I got the wrong one. I meant to get the L'Oreal um, Feria Multi-Faceted Shimmering Highlight Set and I got this one. Um, so I have to return this one. God, I have to put you guys somewhere because I, I'm not good at this. I'm really not good at this. <laughs> I'm like no good at this vlogging. Day in the life video. Um, make sure you put your seatbelt on, kids. And I gotta make sure that I don't have any text messages before I leave because now it's illegal 
to text and drive and it's illegal to talk on the phone and drive. So basically, if you think you want to do it, forget it because you can't do crap um, while driving. So, I had one for my mom. It's the same message she sent me earlier, so I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, at least it's not raining and this makes me very happy. I have to readjust my seat. Hold on. I definitely have to readjust my seat. David drove and freaking moved my seat. Don't you just hate that when somebody drives your car and your seat's all effed up? I have it just the way I like it. <laughs> not anymore. Okay. I don't know how people do these vlogs. Do they set their camera there? <laughs> okay, let's go. Why the f are my windshield wipers on? This is what happens when you get a new car. You have to, you're pressing all these buttons you don't even know about. So anyways, I drive a um, Nissan Murano and I really, really like it. I've always wanted a Murano, so. Love it! Um, I'm leaving. I would show you guys like the other view. I would show you like where I'm going mm -hmm. and stuff, but I feel like that would kind of let people know where I live and I don't really want you people knowing where I live. No offense. But, you know, there's some crazy people out there, so. People in this town really have um, steering problems. Do this. Lorraine, care to, care to put your input? There's no way to keep your camera there, not with the way I drive. We're in the city here, okay? And I have like major road rage. And I just hate people when I'm driving, basically. So many people don't know how to drive. You just wonder how many people actually went to driver's ed because you know, no one knows where the hell they're going. No one knows how to use signals. You know, I see like maybe five accidents a day. Ten almost accidents. And I'm not even out that much. This is a driving hazard. I think soon they'll probably say, you also cannot vlog and drive. <laughs> it's just like the ugliest day. I feel like I have not seen the sun in a week. I feel like I'm a Cullen or something. I love it when women get big, giant, like suburbans and SUVs, and they have absolutely no idea how to drive them. Like none. Oh, there's our Alta. You can't see it because the pole's in the way, but um, isn't it a pretty one? Like this is the um, the center is supposed to be modeled after like a lighthouse, so it's really cool. Everything is like lighthouse inspired. The lighthouse is over there somewhere, but you can't see it. So anyways, I'm about to go in. I have to return this hair dye and then I'll be back. Bye. Ah, clearance. Goodies. So, the Ulta is like right next to the hair cuttery. So I decided to get a little haircut while I was in the shopping center. And it was like the weirdest experience ever. Like this guy sits down next to me like out of nowhere while I'm waiting to get my hair cut and he just look he just like says <laughs> he just like says is blonde your natural color and I was like um and then I told him that um, my hair is like a dark um, dirty blonde but that I highlight it and um, he was like oh yeah that's cool I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure actually we have the same hair color because he was like dirty blonde as well. And I was like, my natural color is like your color right now. And he was like, oh, I wouldn't know because I'm colorblind. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so why are you asking me about my natural color if you're colorblind? I, it was just really, it was really, really weird. And then he continued to like carry on this really awkward conversation. How he wonders if he would look good with platinum blonde and all this. And I was just like, <laughs> what? It was just very strange. And so I was like kind of weirded by it, right? So of course, as soon as I go to check out, he's done and he's ready to check out. So I'm like, awesome. So I get to have another awkward moment with this guy. So he, 
he was like, you look good. And I was like, thanks, you do too. Because, like, whatever, I don't even know what else to say. And um, <laughs> he, then he said, <laughs> oh, I really, because, like, obviously I didn't get my hair blow dried. Um, it's just wet. And he's like, I really love, like, how wet hair looks. And I was like, yeah, like, what the hell do you say back to that when somebody just looks at you and says, I just love how wet hair looks on a woman. I was like, thanks? Like, what? Okay. Uh, thing was just very awkward. And, like, this guy has a wedding band on, so you know he's married. And I'm obviously married because, hello, I have my rings on. And so the whole thing is just, like, I can see being friendly, but it was kind of, like, bordering on weirdo. I have like little hairs all over me like you know how when guys get their hair cut and they come home and they have like little hairs everywhere well I don't normally have that but I'm just covered in my own hair which is really sick I personally was freaked out uh, by this guy the most freakiest part was definitely when he said that he likes wet hair on a woman <laughs> and he like said it he like said it in front of the hairstylist which made it it made it so much more awkward because it was like they were looking at me like what the hell I mean this guy was so friendly with me that the girl that cut my hair was like after she finished cutting it she was like not expecting me to pay yet and I was like I'm ready to pay and she's like oh I thought you were with him I thought you were with that guy it was waiting and I was like no I'm by myself like, oh your hair looks so good I love women with wet hair Tell me if you think that I took that the wrong way. Maybe he meant that in a totally nice way. Maybe he meant, you know, maybe that was a compliment, but I got a creeper vibe. You let me know what your opinion is, but I was feeling a little awkward. I just got home, blow dried it, and it's way shorter than I thought it was. It's way shorter. I thought it looked like she was getting chop happy, but, oh my God. I told her that I wanted a trim just a trim and then i just said that i wanted it just like a layer cut in like a chin length layer all the way around i wanted maybe like a half an inch to an inch off and i would say she took like two or three probably three because my hair was like long you guys saw it in my video that i just did and i came back home and it's short and i'm so grumpy i'm so grumpy i need extensions asap Anyone with extension recommendations, throw them my way because I have got to get rid of this. I have got to have long hair. Oh, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm not happy at all.